Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on this purple halo eye that I created using the Morphe 35P palette. I'm so excited to show you guys how I got this look, so let's just jump right on into it. Alrighty, so my face is all nice and clean, nice and moisturized. I'm just going to move on into primer. And for primer today, I'm actually using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Okay, let me tell you guys, I know I'm so, 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 so late on this trend, but this product seriously works wonders. Who would have thought that a Men's Post Shave Balm would work so great as a primer? I don't even know, but I'm so happy I got this. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys need this in your life. And then I'm just going to move on into priming my eyelids. I'm using my Morphe 10 Con Concealer Palette. The coverage on these concealers is so insane, which is why I like using them as as a primer for my eyelids it just covers up my veins and the discoloration on there so love those guys and then I'm just taping the corner of my eye to give me a nice sharp corner and then I'm going to go in and set that concealer I was gonna say primer set that concealer with the shade silk from morphe and then I'm gonna go in with my first color for the eyes I picked up the shade flawless from morphe on my mac 224 se and I just dusted that right into my crease nothing too nice there I just literally dusted it in there and then I took this shade from the morphe 35p palette on my morphe m505 and I use this as my transition shade it's a nice warm brown so I thought that it'd be perfect to work into my crease and act as my transition shade and now I'm going to work on my halo eye I'm picking up this matte dark purple on my Sigma E32 I believe and I'm just working that on the outer corner and my inner corner and I'm going to leave the middle bare because I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and really um, define that with that purple. And I wanted this eye to be very intense so you guys will notice with every color I use I do go back in and pack it on very heavily just because like I said I wanted it to be very intense. So now I'm going to pick up that purple on my Sigma E30 which is just a pencil brush. I'm going to connect the outer corner and the inner corner creating that halo eye. And I'm not doing anything like too precise here. I'm just going to map out where I want the purple to go and then I'm going to go in and pack on that purple even more to make it more intense. And now I'm just blending everything out with my Beauty Junkies blending brush and then I'm going to take my nail jumbo pencil in the shade milk just to help the lid color pop a little more a lot of people like to use black but I don't know I just like using white I feel like it makes it pop even more that's just me though and now I'm just picking up this beautiful 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 like lavender shimmery shade from the Morphe 35p and I'm popping that right in the center Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with that matte purple on that Sigma E30. And I'm going to define this halo eye like I told you guys. I'm just going to pack on that purple even more. And I'm going to make it a little bit more precise than I did the first time. And then I'm going to pick up my Sigma, I think this is the E54. Like I said, all my brushes will be listed down below for you guys. But I'm going to work that matte purple into my crease, but I'm not going to push it above it. I'm just going to keep it right there and blend out everything. Oops, I lied. It's actually a Sigma E39, sorry. But now I'm just going to go back in and add more purple to the inner corner and outer corner. And then I picked up that matte purple on my blending brush just to blend out that line it was a little too harsh for me and then I took a clean blending brush and blended everything out and then I'm just going to remove the tape and you guys see those nice sharp corners and then I did my lashes and a liner off camera so now we're just going to move on into color correcting you guys know I'm about this life I'm just using the orange to correct the dark spots on my face and the green to correct all the redness <music> Then I'm just going to pick up this concealer from the Morphe 10 Con Palette and I'm just going to conceal any of the blemishes that I have and move right on into foundation. For foundation, I'm mixing both my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 108 and my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Warm Beige. I love, love, love mixing these two. Both of these foundations alone have amazing coverage, so I love mixing them just to give me that full on coverage. And plus, I only add a little of the Pro Matte, so I'm not like completely, completely matte when it's mixed with that Too Faced Born This Way. So. I really do love this combination for foundation. And then, oh, that kind of ramped. And now moving on to concealer, I'm just using my A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm trying to refrain from using this only because it's like literally my favorite concealer. The coverage is insane and a little goes such a long way. So I'm just applying that in the normal places that I would conceal and highlight. And I told you guys I don't like using this beauty sponge to blend out my under eye, but with this concealer, I guess I do. I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the concealer. Now, this is something you guys haven't seen on my channel, but I just took my air spot and I actually set that concealer with it and then I just left it there for a little bit so I actually pushed it into my skin after I set my under eyes and all the places I concealed with my air spin I'm just going to move on into cream contouring I'm taking the same concealer palette I've been using and I'm just um, contouring the normal places that I would and seriously you guys I'm so in love with this palette for cream contouring oh my gosh these concealers blend out so well and like I said the coverage is amazing so 10 10 10 10 all across the board you guys definitely need this palette in your life And then to set my cream contour, I'm just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium to Tan. I'm picking up the shade Havana on my Luxie 512 
12 small contouring brush I'm just going to set the places that I contoured and then I'm going to go in with espresso on a blending brush and just chisel out my cheeks even more and then blend everything out so earlier I set the concealer with my airs but now I'm going to bake I know I'm everywhere with this video but let me tell you setting up my under eyes with the same product that I used to bake actually I feel like works a lot better than setting it with different products so I am just baking now and I'm going to use my Sigma I forget what that is but I just had to chisel out my contour even more and then my camera died so off camera I I just wiped away my bake and I set my nose contour. Now I'm just adding some black eyeliner. I was going to add white, but I wanted this eye to be very intense like I told you guys. And then I just took the matte purple that we had on the inner corner and outer corner and I'm just smoking that out on my lower lash line and I'm using some Too Faced Born This Way for my lower lashes. Seriously, you guys, this mascara, holy grail obsessed with it. You guys know I am. And now I'm taking my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in these shade shade okay shade expose i'm popping that right over my contour and blending everything out now it is time for a z glow after spritzing my morphe m558 with some dry cosmetics lay all day i'm just going to pick up dripping in gold and apply that to the highest points of my cheeks you guys know i live for this glow kit anyway i'm just um highlighting the highest points like i said and then i'm going to go in with my morphe 501 with um sunburst and go right on top of that and then, oh, I also applied it as a brow bone highlight. And then an inner corner, corner, sorry, inner corner highlight. I took the Sigma Single Shadow in the shade Approach. I love this single shadow as an inner corner highlight because it's just so bright. And then I'm pick, picking, okay, I'm taking, um, what is it, Sigma's Power Crown in the shade Own It. And then I'm just going to take a lip brush to clean up the edges to find the lips even more. And then I'm going to set everything. I thought it'd be perfect to set it with my lavender setting spray because the whole purple theme. And and that is it for today's video you guys i really do hope you guys enjoyed this halo eye as much as i enjoyed creating it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys